they know when we're aware and they know when we're not aware. Which is so, so Boomer is interesting because he is the type of horse that a little movement could go a long way. And sometimes if we try to make a horse stand still, but their life isn't there, their, li their life isn't at that point where they could stand, you're just throwing fuel on a fire. It's, it's like they're not ready for it emotionally, so they don't understand what you're asking either. It doesn't make sense to them. So what I would do, like with Boomer, what I'm going to do is start off by just walking away and just making arcs. And I'm I know darn well he's crossing his hind legs. So it's not like just random. Um, here I'm going to ask him, look to the left a little first, and then I walk away. And then I might take my hand and have him look to his right a little bit, and then I'll walk around his side and cross the hind legs. And after a while, what happens is he goes, well, you're always in front of me, you know? So, that, like, if he creeps up on me, I'll just go over here. Now, it might take you a little bit, but eventually they don't creep up. They just, they go, uh-uh, there's no point. So now, if I start to bring my feet down, or my life down, my posture relaxed, he's stopping. Get tall, stand tall, lead ahead. Posture low, halt. All right, so now, keep him positioned. Like, uh, nose, well, already I lost, I lost him there. Because what happened was he was ready to walk off. So I'm going to keep him positioned, nose between the shoulder. Now I'm going to try to give him some space. I'm going to back away, but keep him standing. There, now bring him with. Keep this distance. Sometimes we actually are the ones that need to give the horse room. Sometimes it's the other way around, but, and then turn, halt. That was awesome. Switch, switching sides. And as I switch sides, I'm, I'm, look how I'm getting further away. You know, as I... As I walk off, I might give him more rope. Now, I could reach up as I'm walking. Now, if I have to, I got a little firm there. But I didn't just ambush. I reached up, and then I got firm. And so, oh, now, borderline. I was, I was sort of going to get in there, but he, he made it. Ready? One thing that you're going to notice about all the moves that we do today is standing tall always means movement and relaxing and settling always means stop or bring your life down. You could say it another way. Life up, posture, life up, life down. Good. Further away. He's thinking. Good. And again, the backup is not going to, I'm not going to get the backup um, that great, but it's better. It's way better. What do you think? Yeah, exactly. See? See how important the halt is? Because, I mean, think about it. If your horse got nervous, I'm not saying you always want to do this, but it'd be nice to know leading a horse on the ground, if they got squirrely, that's a word, that you could halt, isn't it? I mean, instead of dancing around. And so even when their life is up, he'd understand, stop the feet. He's asking for There. And then I just keep getting, oh, that, see, he's like, I'm, what if I just wait here? He's being a good boy. He's trying for me, so I'm going to step to the side. Halt. Now, something cool about, I want, I want to talk about this too real quick, and then we can move on to something else, but the hindquarters, offsetting the hind, most of you probably heard it as disengage the hind. I say offsetting the hind. Um, they're crossing the hind legs, same, same basic idea. It's not just to slow a horse down. It's to, for lateral work. It's to get him to coil and balance, but it's another, there's another point to it. It's to, you can get a horse moving. I'll show you what I mean. If I walk straight off at his 12 o'clock, well, he would have came with me. He was getting ready. But if he didn't want to, he could just wait there. He'd be an anchor. He could be the best anchor weight in the world if he wanted to be, right? But if I step to the side... Get the mind, step to the side, the feet break over, then I walk forward. So I can use that hindquarters crossing, offsetting, as a way to get a horse walking forward. 
So I hope you realize you can start a horse up with it and you can stop a horse with it as, as well.